Thanks for tuning into the Boston Roll channel. Liking the video and subscribing to the channel are free and easy for you, and they help me out a lot. If you want to go further with your support, Patreon and YouTube membership offer access to the Boston Roll Discord community, early access to lists, written content, things like that. You can have me play your deck on the channel, and the highest tiers come with individual coaching sessions. If you use YouTube membership, you also get sweet badges and emotes integrated here into YouTube. You can support the channel while you shop at tcgplayer.com by using my affiliate link in the video description. And you can play any deck anytime by using a cardhoarder.com loan account on Magic Online. If you want to wear your support, check out the merch store. And of course, thanks for being here. Now let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to the Boston Roll channel. Today I'm playing Legacy at the request of Patreon subscriber Derek. And this is Nick Fit. I want to start this video by saying that the empty lot behind my house is no longer empty. And an entire house is being built in it. So if you hear any construction related clattering or whatever in the background over the next couple months, I'm sorry, but there's literally a house being built probably about 35 feet behind my back right now. And that's going to be a thing for a while. I'll try to filter it out, but sorry, <laughs> it is what it is. But anyway, here's this deck. We have Nick Fit. This was a brew challenge where Derek had just a few expectations where it was, I want to see Nick Fit, and by Nick Fit, he means the Veteran Explorer Cabal Therapy Ramp Disruption Package. This is what Nick Fit is. And he wanted to see Grist, because that's his favorite card. The other thing that he asked me to do was stack hard against Delver and 8-cast. Outside of those parameters, I could do whatever I want with the list. And I did a little bit of digging on MTG Goldfish. Turns out the Nick Fit community was already here. This is a list I pulled off of Goldfish. Uh, it was a 5-0 that was in one of the deck dumps about two weeks ago. And this list is Nick Fit, of course. It contains Grist. It contains Obnix List, the Adversary, which was a card that Derek cited as would be cool, but not necessary. But here it is. I'm excited to play with this one. The stack against Delver. We have four Endurance in the main deck. The only four ofs in this deck are the Nick Fit Core, the Green Sun Zenith Tutor, and Endurance. Like, Endurance is the only, like, flex slot option card that is a four of. This is a giant nod towards Delver. Endurance obviously also plays against some of your worst matchups, like Doomsday and Reanimator, but it's also a tool for Delver, and there's four of them stacked up here. In the payoff area... Because Nick Fit, the thing about Nick Fit is it's going to have a lot of mana, it's going to disrupt you, and then it does things. And the things it does can range from like Academy Rector shenanigans, Arena Rector shenanigans, maybe to Fairy Vacation combo. Wink, wink. Check out those videos if you're new to the channel. There's a lot of just stuff you can do once your opponent's interaction is discarded and you have five to seven mana. This deck kind of keeps it tight. There's a Marin of Clinton Neltoth EDH staple here. Whenever a creature dies, you get an experience counter. At the beginning of your end step, choose target creature in your graveyard. If that card's mana value is less than or equal to the number of experience counters you had, have, return to the battlefield, otherwise put it in your hand. But it's just a card advantage thing in the green-black colors that cares when creatures die, which is a thing our deck does a lot of. Elder Gargaroth being the payoff. Vigilance Reach Trample 6-6. Six, six. This thing eats Delvers, eats DRCs. It can tangle with some Merktides, but I wouldn't really count on it. Against Merktide, we're going to need Grist or a double block with Endurance. Or we can simply combo kill the opponent. This is a Chain of Smog deck with Witherbloom Apprentice, Chain of Smog, Sedgemore Witch as well. Witherbloom Apprentice kills your opponent outright with Chain of Smog. You target yourself with Chain, target player discards two. That player may copy the spell and do it again. You just Chain of Smog yourself, unlimited times, triggering Magecraft, unlimited times. Opponent loses one life and you gain one life for each spell you cast or copy. That's GG. Sedgemore Witch makes a 1-1 one, one black and green pest token. Every time you cast or copy a spell, you can make a million 1-1 one, one pests and then pass the turn. This is a pass the turn line. It's a little worse than Witherbloom Apprentice, but it's also better if you're not actively comboing or if the combo gets disrupted. At least something's left behind to keep beating down. Pretty strong nod to the combo here. The other thing at the top end is Vivian Monsters Advocate. I don't know that I've ever had this card in a deck before. 3GG, 
three starting loyalty. Five mana for three starting loyalty is pretty low. This card must be good. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creature cards from the top of your library. Plus one, create a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. Put your choice of Vigilance, Reach, or Trample counter on it. So a plus one string of, of uh, Reach beasts can also shut down Delver pretty quick. And minus two, when you cast your next creature spell this turn, search a library for a creature card with lesser mana value and put it onto the battlefield. That's cool. You get sort of a uh, controlled cascade off of the minus two ability. So she shows up, plus one, you make a beast to stabilize. Next turn, you minus two. Cast Marin, get Grist, or cast Elder Gargaroth, get Marin, etc. Cast Eternal Witness, get Witherbloom Apprentice. Yeah, okay, that's pretty sweet. This list is clearly slanted in the direction of combo killing. With the four Zenith and the two Vivian, that's just a lot of ways to find Witherbloom Apprentice. Three Opposition Agent in here is pretty sick. That's pretty filthy when your own card in your own deck makes your opponent search. They can decline to search, but they still don't get the lands. I mean, you don't either, but they don't get them. An opposition agent is the type of bullshit that, if you're ramping, gets very powerful. Deadly Brew, another card that I don't think I've ever seen. Green, black, sorcery. Each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If you sacrifice a permanent in this way, you may return another permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. So this edicts both players, but if you edict yourself, you can rebuy something else. Pretty sick. Uh, kill their Murktide Regent, sack your Veteran Explorer, search for two lands, and return your Obnix list to your hand. This is a really cool card. There's a lot of cool cards in this deck. That's the whole thing about Nickfit. The main deck is stacked about as far as you can reasonably take it against Delver, while still having a plan against anything else. The sideboard... We've got a Collector Oof in the Green Sun Zenith package and three Pernicious Deed. These are absolute bullets against 8-cast. So Delver, check. 8-cast, check. Rest of the metagame, we're just trying to slow down combo because we're trying to outmuscle fair decks. Throw on the last roll, making an appearance. This card has been embarrassing for quite some time because it just doesn't beat Uro. But Uro is kind of out of the meta thanks to Jeskai and Grixis, and Thrun's very good against those decks. I'm excited to revisit Thrun the Last Troll, a card that I own a foil copy of in real life but haven't put in a deck in probably 10 years. Maybe more. And that's what we're doing. This is Derek's Grist Anti Delver Obnixilis Nick Fit deck. Let's do it. We're on the draw against a Yorian deck in round one with a kind of regrettable hand. This cavern, if it was. Any normal green source, I think I'd keep on the strength of Zenith, but I'm going to mulligan this as it is. Okay, uh, this one I'm more interested in. I'm going to keep it and bottom one of the opposition agents. If this is Death and Taxes, the Paseju will be good. I like drawing to Chain as a, a win condition. Yeah, I'm going to bottom one of the agents. I might regret that. Like Sending one of the lands is also reasonable. Okay, this is not Death and Taxes. I'm going to crack off this Zenith because Opposition Agent is so much better when you can ramp into it. Turn 2 Agent and Turn 3 Agent are just completely different animals. Okay, a Lightning Bolt immediately. I think I'm going to play the Explorer. It really sucks to get your Explorer Swords to Plow Shared. Do I think this is Jeskai? I guess I'm just going to keep testing their removal. But if they, like, Lightning Bolt this, search their deck for two lands, untap, cast Jace, that would kind of suck. But whatever. This is what I got right now. I don't want to hang my Witherbloom out into just nothing. And if they are a source to Plowshares deck, Opposition Agent looking good. Ooh, Xander's Lounge. First sighting for me in Legacy of this card. Oh, it looks like we're just Grixis Yorion. This is a deck I 5 would with. We didn't have Xander's Lounge at the time, but I have... Put up an undefeated record with Grixis Yorion in my life. That video is available if you want to go check it out. It's out there somewhere. Oh, we're four color. Life from the Loam. Yikes. Well, I'm going to play the Baseju. I have not come up with a land since wishing I had a land. Opposition Agent and Endurance. There's a lot of flash threats in this deck. Flash three drops that ask different questions. I'm really into it. 
Brainstorm, okay. Brainstorm pairs best with a fetch land, which Opposition Agent destroys. I'm just going to start testing them with Endurances in the end step. I'm not going to play this Opposition Agent where they can just fetch in response. Maybe I want to do Endurance myself, get Dried Arbor back in my deck. Not actually sure. Ooh. Another one. Let's go. We have four cards in hand. We know one of them's Loam. I'm beating down. They did not shuffle away that Brainstorm. They liked the cards they had there. Well, it's go time. This isn't getting better. Make you spend mana or spells on your own turn. At a Force of Will, Pitching Force of Negation, sure. Oh wait, this Loam is in Exile. Why is this Loam in Exile? Yeah, this is their Exile Zone, right? Oh, it was exiled off Expressive Iteration, and then they were not able to cast it. Okay, it's not, it's not revealed. It, it's in Exile. Got it. One, two, three, four, and Yorian's in hand. Okay. I have another Endurance that can Shadow Realm this Uro. We need another card in the graveyard before Endurance is, or Uro is live. I guess I can chill. Still a chance to spike something with Oppo Agent. Pyroblast. Okay. Uh, this is a YOLO Pyroblast to get their fifth card in the graveyard for Uro. There was some discussion in the comments recently about the difference between Pyroblast and Red Blast, and that's it. Red Blast doesn't do that, but Pyroblast does. There's a no value Yorion, but it is a 4 5 creature. Zenith. Okay. I can Zenith for Grist here and start blasting. One card in hand. I can't imagine this deck plays days. I think Grist is the correct answer. I may sack a creature. How about Veteran Explorer? How's that sound? Well, Yorion. My opponent also gets to search for lands, but I think that's fine. When they're at nine and I'm attacking for six, while well, they have one card in hand, I'm okay with the situation. I don't know what they do with eight lands that they didn't already do with six. And they're dead. Ambitious deck over there. Four color, no white. Well, I was talking about how Uro decks are the reason Thrun doesn't really play these days, and we're up against one. I think I like Veil of Summer here. Paradox Zone. I don't know if I should expect to save you out of my opponent. Like, they're a green loam deck, but also they're playing four colors of mana. Like, how many single color lands do you get to play? We saw two basics in their deck as well. I should probably expect the Seiju, but I still think that Paradox Zone is good. I think Marin's a little slow for this matchup. And Deadly Brew, they're not going to have a lot of creatures. We might have some Planeswalkers, but I'll make it work. I like all my Planeswalkers. So Deadly Brew is another Veteran Explorer enabler. I think this is fine, though. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. These are mostly the decks that we want to play against anyway with the main deck, so you're not going to find a lot of help in the sideboard for these matchups. This hand needs an Explorer, but I am going to keep it. What I like about this build of the deck is you're not on Explorer or Bust, which some versions of Nickvit literally don't function if you don't explore. This one has some low-to-the-ground stuff, responsible curve considerations. Did not shuffle their Ponder. Ooh, P-Zone. The Pizza Hut special. I'm not going to Cabal Therapy now. I'm going to hold up Veil of Summer in case they have Thoughtseize, and then I can... Wall therapy next turn. Start checking what's in that hand. You can name expressive iteration here, I think. It's that or Narset, and I don't really care about Narset. EI it is. Grist, Lightning Bolt, Brainstorm. Okay. You got your own Grist, I see. Fair enough. Not gonna argue with that. And I can't really, like, compete with the Brainstorm here. Like, I can't play another Cabal Therapy because they can Brainstorm in response, hide the good stuff. I expect that this Lightning Bolt will probably not be in their hand anymore. But I did show them Opposition Agent. They did not see my Wither Bloom last game, though. That's a big deal. I think it's Gris time. It's gonna have to outmuscle this thing. Build a Force of Will. Okay. Ooh, Sedgemore Witch. Are you helpful? Not really. Next turn, you'll be really good. Right now, you don't do much. If I Cavern on Elemental, 
I can have Endurance in play for sure. But that makes Sedgemore Witch and Veteran Explorer and Witherbloom Command or Witherbloom Creature, <laughs> whatever you're called, Witherbloom Idiot, all worse. I think I'm going to Castle Lockthwain past the turn here. Because I can use Veil of Summer to protect Sedgemore Witch from Grist. And next turn, I can have an uncounterable Sedgemore Witch. Open Library. That's a very good card. All right. Time to see if my, my best laid plans are going to pan out here. Ooh, it just got better. Yeah. Uh, Cavern on Human. Then I'm going to play Explorer. Cabal Therapy. I think I am just going to name Lightning Bolt. I want green, black. A Lightning Bolt is a card I can't protect from with Veil of Summer. Unholy Heat and Endurance. Okay. They dodged that beautifully. Now I have some choices. I can play Sedgemore Witch, play Cabal Therapy, get their hand empty. That's a swamp. They have to... Yeah, if I Sedgemore Witch, play Therapy, they Unholy Heat in response, I take the Endurance, their hand's empty, but they do have... Uh, I still think this is the play. Sedgemore Witch, get in. Wall Therapy. I get a Trigger. They Heat it in response, then I take the Endurance that they can't cast right now. Gotta pay 3 life for Ward. Rip the Endurance. The opponent's Hellbent, but they do have... Sylvan Library in play, but I'm about to go into the P zone with Veil of Summer Protection. When it paid the max, they're down to seven life. One in growth. Okay, time to reveal the Yorion. In case we forget it's over there. Yorion currently good for a card. Wrist milled expressive iteration. Do I wanna I think I do want to trade off? I could sack this for Cabal Therapy and check their hand, but I think the Veil of Summer is doing a lot of that work already. Chain of Smog. Let's keep the hits coming here. What dual answer in my deck? It's just Bayou's. So if I don't fetch Mountain with this, I don't have red mana. How important is red mana? All right, I am going to fetch the Mountain just in case. Oh no. I have fucked this up. My only green source is... Yeah, I can't... I can't Veil of Summer. <laughs> I just fucked up. I out, out clevered myself, which is not a thing that I'm normally good at. Uh, okay. How can I get out of this? I could just jam Paradox Zone and hope it works. Damn it. All right. I'm going to represent Red Blast. Yeah, if I just fetched Bayou, I would feel pretty safe here, but instead, I am a dummy. Yep, Veil of Summer blowout. God damn it. Okay. It did not occur to me that my five lands wouldn't make two green. Probably should have, but it didn't. My opponent is Mystic Sanctuarying. Let's hope they pick up Force of Will. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. If they think they're safe behind Force of Will, because I tapped wrong last turn, that's good for me. Went to two. Wow. Damn it. All right. All right. I've, I've blown it. Yeah, Uro gets them out of this, and they can escape Uro immediately. I don't even have priority to pitch Endurance if I wanted to. I need to draw Witherbloom Apprentice right now. Or Zenith for it. And I still have outs because I'm a combo deck. But this this could have been better. <laughs> a little too much black mana available. Alright, Apprentice off the top. Easy game. I found another green mana off the top. Yeah, sure. I can... Play Endurance, 1, 2, 3, and activate Castle Lockthwain. Start digging. Aid Life again. 6, 7, 8, 9. Grist is good for 1. Okay, they're playing around Endurance. I'll let them do it. Grist milled Life from the Loam. What a beautiful world. I fetch Bayou. Play Endurance. Target my opponent. Activate Castle Lockthwain. Take three damage here. I'm digging for a combo kill. Oh god, do they have Hall Breacher? Oh, cling to dust. Yeah, that's fine. Vivian Monsters Advocate. You help. That's more witch. Okay. Um, I can witch and smog and gain infinite life here with Veil Protection. 
Oh, I guess I have to veil first. Because the chain will counter my... Yeah, the chain will make me discard. Okay, Veil of Summer. Uh, exiling the Cabal Therapy is relevant here, because I could have therapied Force to at least clear the first round. If they have two pieces of interaction here, I'm dead. Yeah, the red removal beats me here, too. Boo. Boo. They're tapping red mana. Unholy Heat. Pay three life. Okay. This one... one is over. Okay, they got me here. Yeah, that turn that I fucked up the, the Paradox Zone mana. It is that easy. Cavern of Souls is not a free card to put in your deck when all of your cards are not the thing that you name. Oops. A Deadly Brew is an answer to Grist that I do not currently have in my deck. Obnixilis is dope. The red removal out of this deck is actually insane. I'm not considering Leyline of the Void because that's just such an awkward card, and I don't want to mulligan to it, and I think I can outvalue an Uro under most circumstances anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to submit the same 60. Try that again and use mana correctly this time. We got the classic Zenith Hand with Arbor in it. This doesn't ramp, doesn't do anything. I'm going to mulligan. Oh, the uh, Arbor Hand with not even Zenith to help it. We're going to five. Okay, uh, this is luckily a deck that can function on five mana. I don't need two Chain of Smogs. And yeah, this is actually interesting. Like, do I want to bottom Eternal Witness and hope to draw another land or just play the three lands I have? I think I'm going to bottom one of the lands. There's lots of lands in this deck. Let's uh, let's play to draw one of them. Oh, baby. Naming human with this. Eternal Witness is a human. We haven't seen a Wasteland yet. It could be in this 80-card loam deck. In fact, I would wager it's likely. And Cavern of Souls isn't a land you play second if you can avoid it. Like, you want to hide that until you have a creature. So they, if they're on the level, they can identify I don't have another land right now. All right, deck, time to give me a land. Land? Fuck! Yeah, it's easy to look at that mulligan and be like, yeah, duh, idiot, you made this choice. I guess I have to Leopold and or uh, Veil in response to this. Because I'm never drawing an extra card again. Okay. Found a mana, at least. And I can play Eternal Witness to regrow the Verdant Catacombs and keep this going. Okay. Uh, it sucks this is happening a turn behind schedule, but at least it's happening. And the way this deck is constructed, the basic mountain is the only red source, so I can't fetch for a Badlands and Casualty of Nixilis. Not blocking this. Ooh. This is close to something I'm interested in. I mean, the Leovold is rough, but I can jam Endurance in front of it this turn, if they let me. They were really good about playing around Endurance last game. Let's see if they respect Opposition Agent. Okay, they either have an answer to Oppo Agent or just decided they can't or won't play around it. Iteration, free combat. Ottawara is the exiled card and their land for the turn. Okay, respecting Endurance. I'm still jamming the Endurance. I'm going to grab the other Bayou here. And I'm going to target myself or nobody. Those are the options. I'm not going to target them because they get to draw a card. Do I do anything with my graveyard other than Cabal Therapy and Eternal Witness? They're already both in play. All right, I'm just going to target nobody. That's a land. Endurance, let's go. Play the Besaju. And... God, Leovold. Specifically, Leovold is such a shitter here. I get one card per turn, so I can cast a Lockthwain if I want to Lava Axe myself to get an extra card this turn, which I might want to do. I don't think I'm winning a fair version of this game. It sucks that they have Lightning Bolts in their deck, but I'm going to take the five. Life total is a resource. Another chain. Not going to take the five again. Well, this time it's seven. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to take seven. I have Opposition Agent now, which I didn't have a turn ago. Leovold. What a magic card that is. Rose here. Oh, I just clicked through the, the Misty Rainforest activation. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I just wasn't expecting them to activate it in response to their Uro trigger. That was weird. Maybe I'll get them with the second. Plague Engineer on Human, probably. Though that does let me have... 
explorer immediately. Like if I draw explorer, it just dies. There's some risk to that. Okay, made my elemental smaller. Get a little opposition agent into play. Wish I would have spiked that uh, fetch land before, but busy thinking about stuff instead of playing right. Okay, I got some options here. I can Cabal Therapy my opponent, name Force of Will, and then Sedgemore Witch, Chain of, Va Chain of Smog, and try to go infinite. However, if they have any red removal spell at all, that doesn't work. I could also just cast Obnixilis. And I could cast and copy Obnixilis. The copy would be a 2 2. That also gets picked apart by red removal. Obnixilis is each opponent, but they could just lose four life. Yeah, Obnixilis doesn't actually change this board state at all. I think I'm going to Cabal Therapy and name Unholy Heat. Uh, there's just so many answers. Force of Will beats me. Lightning Bolt beats me. Unholy Heat beats me. I gotta make a move, though. I know they get an extra card, but I get to see the card. Or they... Like, they draw first, so it's not like they're hiding anything from me. I mean, Unholy Heat. Two Lightning Bolts is the answer. With Bluster Storm and Expressive Iteration. Okay. I just chose the wrong one at random. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna flashback... Sacking the Eternal Witness. Aim lightning bolt this time. I'm gonna bolt me or bolt off my creatures in response. That, that works. I still have to name lightning bolt with one of these as this that eats the Sedgemore Witch. But then Fluster Storm counters my chain. I think that's okay though. Lightning bolt Fluster Storm, okay. I mean it's not okay, but I think it's about as good as it's gonna get. I can just play Sedgemore Witch here and not chain. Or I could Obnixilis. I could Sedgemore Witch chain them. That's probably reasonable. Because they can't really send it back. I'm going to chain you. I guess they could let it just discard two, send it back, and then Flusterstorm it when I send it back again. Yeah, this is kind of risky, but I'm in a really shitty spot here. Discarded the two lands and didn't send it back. Okay. Cool. Man, Leovold. Motherfuck. Card is messing me up bad. I'm going to block Uro with my pest token. If I just blind named Lightning Bolt instead of Unholy Heat on the first run, like, is it, I guess, is it more likely they have Lightning Bolt? I saw the same number of them in game two. They're mostly the same card. I don't know. If I just blind named Lightning Bolt instead of Unholy Heat, then I flashback, take Fluster Storm, then. I'm in much better shape. Here's the iteration. Um, ponder. Wrist, that sucks. We're gonna sack a creature, probably the Plague Engineer, to kill my Sedgemore Witch. And my combo's off. They can afford the ward pretty easily here. But I do get to attack Grist and threaten Leovold now. Okay. Attack Grist. And I'm at one on board. Like, this Grist did its job. Here's my new plan. I'm going to cast an uncounterable opposition agent, and then I'm going to Obnixilis. I guess if I was going to sack Endurance, which I probably needed to do, I should have waited. Gas with Casualty. All right, yeah, I actually think I need the blocker, so I'm going to get rid of Endurance. I was going to sack opposition agent and keep Endurance, but Endurance isn't actually doing anything right now. They can for uh, force a negation one of these, or just let me have them. Let's see, I'm at one. I can make devils, which if they ping, yeah, they can just lose four life. The devils don't matter. I can make one devil and plus the other. Yeah, that's how this card is designed to work. All right, they drew more lightning bolts. They can just pick off the other in response to the first thing. Ugh. Ugh, I said. Oh. Uh, fail summer draws a card. All right. This deck seems like tailor made to beat my deck. Very cool stuff over there. Absolutely collapsing me with the red removal. Well, actually, it was Leovold. Uh, I think I win this game 100 turns ago if specifically Leovold isn't in play. Like even Narset or All Breacher, various versions of this, but the draw card when I do stuff version or words on this card are really bad. 
and I can't even like ping them with this devil. I'm just gonna go to four, and it is what it is. If you have your other two lightning bolts, that's fine. You win. You're winning anyway. Ponder. EI found Ponder. Yeah, Nexalus is a play from a head card. It doesn't actually do much to stabilize you. Ah, my opponent had to go to discard. Moral victory. I'm going to plus Obnixilis. This gains me two life. I'll take that. They just <laughs> discard their life from the loan. Get out of here, you. Uh, I'm going to have to endurance them in their upkeep. They don't really want to do because they get to draw a card, but life from the loan's over there. Not a card I can beat. But don't worry, I can't beat them anyway. All right, I'm just going to concede this game. Missequencing my lands in game two, losing out on the Paradox Zone, uh, was a pretty big mistake. It's losing track of what this deck's capable of doing with its fetch lands. But game three, I don't think I was ever winning in my life. I didn't see Leopold the first two games. Maybe I should have the, the Deadly Potions, or whatever that card's called, in the deck. Deadly Brew. Yeah, I'm not really prepared to answer a creature at all. And they had the best one against my deck. Okay, next round. I'm on the draw in round two. I have Therapy and Explorer. No Black Source. The Arbor in my hand's a little awkward. I'm going to keep this, though. I like the upside here. So any Black Source does what I need it to. I have Endurance, which is my only turn zero interactive spell. Chrome Mox. Okay. You might need Endurance here, folks. Rate of Flame. Okay. Endurance can interact with that. Reckless Impulse. Lotus Petal and Galvanic Relay. That's not going anywhere just yet. Yeah, Vivian Monster's Advocate is not really what I was looking for here. I think I want to play Dryad Arbor and pass the turn. Pitched a Bergy. Yeah, the Dryad Arbor is going to be awkward and bad at all times. So let me just commit it to play. And if they spend a Grape Shot on it, that's a Grape Shot they don't have to kill me with. Lotus Petal from Exile. Two mana for Burning Wish. Okay. Burning Wish for Echo of Eons. Here's Lion's Eye Diamond. Son of a bee. Endurance isn't even going to do anything. Yeah, there's no... There's no priority window. Oh, Endurance is gone. Spun into another hand with no black. This is why there's a bunch of Mind Break Traps on the sideboard. Mox Opal. Shatter Skull. Gamble. See old Lion's Eye Diamond hit the graveyard. We were playing against the Epic Gamble. I mean, we, we already knew it was some, like, Ruby Storm-esque. Storm deck. Fence grid hit the graveyard. Yeah, there's the Lion's Eye Diamond. That's what they gambled for. I told you. And now, like, worst case scenario, they can just Galvanic Relay for 8, set up next turn. Reckless Impulse, Fiery Islet, Echo, Burning Wish, Ruby Medallion, LED, Gamble, Mox Opal for next turn. All right, and they have no hand. Jesus. All right, well, I have Besaju. Do I think that they have... Like, I could just nuke this Chrome Mox and hope they don't have a basic land in their deck. Or I could... That also takes them off... No, it doesn't really take them off Metalcraft, because there's LED. Well, oh, uh, they do get to search for a land. Yeah, if they search for a land, it doesn't matter. Maybe this is just the play that I have, and I should make it. All right, yeah, I'm going to hit the Chrome Mox. I imagine they have some mountains in the deck. Oh, wow, they don't. That was actual just disenchant. Okay. That hit the turns off the Mox Opal. They can play LED from Exile and Fire Islet from Exile. They can cast Ruby Medallion, which turns the Mox Opal back on. But that was a lot of mana they just suddenly don't have. Okay, yeah, the Mox Opal, they can Lotus Petal them out. Yeah, I think they're going to muscle through it, but that was an exciting moment. On the play, I would have been able to Opposition Agent a Gamble this turn. Though, probably not, because I haven't found a Black Mana. <laughs> Never mind. A Burning Wish. They've already Echoed from Exile. So they're either not getting Echo. I don't. I doubt they have two in the Wish board. I... I mean, we'll see what they get, but this doesn't seem right. Like, if they didn't use LED to cast... Oh, this Bergy is not in Exile. I can't even tell what's in Exile that can be cast this turn and what can't. I'm just going to stop talking and let them show me if I'm dead or not. But it seems like a mistake to Burning Wish before using your LED when you've already echoed from 
the sideboard. Got Shattering Spree. Yeah, no way that was the, the plan. Chrome Mox was their draw for turn. They're going to exile the Shattering Spree that they just wished for. Weird. Now we can gamble for an Echo and take another spin. Or Reckless Impulse first, and then... Yeah, Reckless Impulse happens first. Oh, they just exiled an Echo. Oh, that's so funny. Three down, one to go. Because one is in this uh, Galvanic Relay pile where they have to spend six mana to get access to it. And here comes the last one. And we're going to take another spin. They've made their land drop already. Found another Opal. I found Opposition Agent. If I get a turn, I can start stealing gambles. I feel like this has been way more awkward than it needed to be, but I'll take it. Rate of Flame. Another gamble. There's no more Echoes to gamble for. They're all gone. Blind's Eye Diamond just hit the graveyard. Don't know that that's a card you'd gamble for here. The Reckless Impulse just hit Chrome Mox and Defense Grid. Okay. Chrome Mox is cast. Three cards in the hand. Going to be down to two here. Exiled a, a, a Smashing. And it looks like I'm getting another turn. Okay. These wheels keep on turning. Either Bloom, Apprentice. I'm going to play... Swamp and pass. If they defense grid, I'll oppo agent in response. If they don't defense grid, I'll wait to snag a gamble. Reckless impulse. Just found a gamble and a burgie. Unfortunately, gamble is just like barely even good at this point because all the echoes are gone. Burgie could be Harnfell. That would be devastating. All right, they went with actual burgie. They're gambling. Time to oppose. This is the play I get to make this game. I would like your Tendrils of Agony. Don't see another win condition in here. I mean, there's Burning Wish. There's two of those, but yeah, I'm going to take your Tendrils and put it in my exile. Then you can discard a card at random. That was fun. And there's the defense grid, better late than never. Now I can F6 and see if I'm dead. Is the last card in their hand Galvanic Relay? If it is, they're going to load up again. There's still the Wishes in the deck. It is Galvanic Relay. Okay. Get six of these. Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal, Chrome Mox, Rite of Flame, LED, and Mountain. None of those advance the board state. Okay. <laughs> this has taken some weird turns. Uh, I can Tendrils them, but I don't want to put Tendrils in their graveyard where they can access it. The hand is completely empty. Or uh, their hand is completely empty. I say Attack with Opposition Agent. My 3-3 three, three into your 3-3. Three, three. I gotta win this game somehow. Then I'll play another one and pass the turn. Hanging on to these Witherbloom Apprentices. Fire Islet drawing a card. Lion's Eye Diamond. Lotus Petal. And they certainly have a lot of mana, but there's no Echoes in the deck anymore. They have to Raw Dog a, a Tutor with me at 20. Okay. We are Shatter Skull smashing my Oppo agents going hellbent, but the board is clear for Bergy to start attacking. They're finding the way forward here as much as they can. Oh, Grist will end the game immediately. Gonna cavern on human and fetch Bayou. The land I can fetch. Then one, two, three, Grist. Stack my Dryad Arbor to kill your Bergy. Their Bloom Apprentice. Don't like giving up to them that I'm a combo deck by playing my Apprentice, but I do have to actually win the game before they rebuild. Ball Therapy, cool. Plus Grist. Sedgemore Witch. Ball Therapy, you. Start draining and going wide. What card do I think they have in their hand? Uh, how about Rite of Flame? Barely matters. <laughs> The legend grows. My opponent's like, who is this guy? It's Bosch and Roll. I never miss on a Cabal Therapy. Even when we have one card in your hand. Take a seat. Okay, we got away with something there. Barely interacted, and the opponent died. Collector Oof, get in. Mindbreak Trap and Leyline both get in. Pernicious D doesn't seem bad. Let's see how much I'm actually cutting. Marin, Gargaroth, Vivian, all out. We are playing small and aggressive here. I like my discard. Obnixilis is terrible. 
Sedgemore Witch is a win condition, but I don't really need win conditions. I just need to not lose. Oh, Deadly Brew doesn't do much. It does kill Bergy. Each player sacrifices a creature or Planeswalker. And if they have one of those, they're probably comboing out anyway. Like, I'm either dead or they're not going anywhere. So I don't think I actually want the Deadly Brews. And I can bring Sedgemore Witch back in. Pernicious Deed, I can see an argument for. Like, if they just leave Material in play and pass the turn. They are a Galvanic Relay deck, so sweeping up some number of Mox Opals and junk is something. Yeah, maybe I'm cutting Sedgemore Witches also. Get a couple of Deeds in here. And I like Grist as a removal spell that I can Zenith for if I need to beat a Bergy. And Veil of Summer does counter Tendrils, and it, it did appear that Tendrils is their win condition. Wow, how deep am I going on this? Bring in literally anything that can interact? Is that, is that the plan? Doesn't sound like a bad plan. And get rid of Eternal Witness as the last cut here. Okay, here's my deck. Heavy sideboard, 12 cards in. Okay, Mind Break Trap and Cabal Therapy in the sand I'm keeping. Opponents on the mold of six. Let's see if they respect Mind Break Trap or if they're dead. Oh, baby. That's two spells. Uh, we win. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good shit. I think... Yeah, I'm going to play the Veteran Explorer. Because I can save the Zenith for an oof. A little awkward here. I... And they didn't have a mountain to search up last game, but I can play this game without giving them anything, so I think I will. Like I could have therapied here, flashback, played Witherbloom, but I can just wait a turn, Zenith for Oof, trigger Witherbloom, and then I don't think we're playing this game anymore. We're barely playing this game now. I boarded out all my red cards, so I can just get a forest here. I'm just going to Zenith pre-combat, see if we can fish out the concession. We don't need to be here all day. Oof. And just start beating down. Yeah. Managed to wriggle through a really weird game one, and then had the world's easiest game two of Mind Break Trap into turn three collector roof. Count it. On to the next one. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards, and you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the play. I have the Veteran Explorer, but no sack outlet in this hand's not going anywhere. I'm gonna mulligan. <laughs> oh, this deck. Going to five. Okay, we got there. I'm gonna keep this one, send the Seiju, and do I want the Cavern or not? I think I do. I'm going to send Wooden Foothills, then I'm going to use Bayou to Zenith for Arbor and see where this game goes. Good news is I kind of look like Elves right now. Bad news is I can't capitalize on that. Oh, Sappers and Scary. We're against another Degenerate combo deck. The Deadly Brew. Oh, that doesn't help me here. Cavern on Human. Well, let's get the beatdown started. Black, green. Scared yet? And I'm going to attack. I don't think that casting the Explorer helps me here. And it's an investment in additional damage, but it also turns on Force of Will that my cavern just turned off. Oh god, there's a saga. This is not the Oracle combo deck I thought it was. It's Turbo Echo. That is way worse for me. But... I, they, oh, they found LED? Please don't have the Echo. Jesus. Stop. 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 Stop it now. God damn it. Their hand had two Echoes, no LED. Narset found the LED. I would have been able to deadly brew, kill the Narset. Ugh. All right. Let's draw smog, Chain of Smog and win anyway. Stupid Narset. Chain of Smog. Oh, I found deadly brew anyway. Um... I believe this is return another permanent card. Yeah, and my permanent cards just went away. Yeah, so I can attack Narset and hope this works. That was some bullshit. This is what happens when you play a deck without Force of Will and Legacy. Life comes at you fast. You got a lot of mana over there. Another Narset. Narset activation. 
Hey there, spell bomb. That's kind of annoying. And set back my my land drop. Ooh, Cabal therapy. That's not bad. Um, I'm not sure how we get this where I want it to go though. Cavern of Souls. It again proving to be more trouble than than help. Okay, I'm gonna therapy. Let's just get that point here. They don't have Echo in their hand. They don't have Days Undoing in their hand. What do I think might be over there? Do I just name Force of Will? They're out the cobwebs. Oh, we're spending men in response, Hall Breacher. Okay. I name Force of Will. Try to clear the way for my victory. Flusterstorm and Karn. Oh, good. Flusterstorm. I can't beat that either. And. I mean, I can flashback naming Karn. Or I can flashback naming Flusterstorm, but they don't have any blue mana. Yeah, they just had to use it. Uh, yeah, I think I have to flashback Cabal Therapy, naming Fluster, no, naming Karn. Oh, but they can get Mox Opal, and then I can't win. One, two, three. I'm gonna name Flusterstorm. I just hope to hold up for a turn. Yeah, the Mold of Five really catching up with me here. Two more cards, like one more source of colored mana would be a delight here. They don't currently have blue mana. They can't currently cast Karn. Or they can. They could get Mox Opal and exactly cast Karn. Oh, or they can draw Days Undoing for turn. All right. I mean, I can still draw the the chain right now. They did shuffle either Karn to do this. I guess I technically have to keep playing the game. But no, I don't because either Spellbomb beats me now. All right. <laughs> Another just balls to the wall combo deck. Time for a similar sideboard plan. But now I also have to plan for a world where they have Urza Saga as a backup plan. Deed, oof, Mindbreak Trap, and Leyline of the Void. Marin's bad. Opposition Nation's actually probably pretty bad. They have Urza Saga, but that's all they have. I don't think this deck's going to be doing a lot of searching. Obnixilis, just terrible. I need my disruption, need my counter spells. Or not counter spells, combo spells. This deck does have creatures, so Deadly Brew is a lot more interesting. Timeless or er, Eternal Witness probably bad. Such more witch probably bad. I do like the idea of having a flash threat to contend with their flash threats with opposition agent. Though it is probably the worst card left here. I think endurance is better. Okay, back in we go. Let's hope for another reckless charge into mind break trap. Though I do, don't have the benefit this time of winning game one. Uh, I'm going to keep this. I can Zenith for Dried Arbor and then Zenith for Oof. And that is a like not having turn one interactions kind of bad, but being able to do my most powerful thing my deck can do on turn two is pretty exciting. And if they somehow give me an opening for Endurance, I have it. Oh, this Fluster Storm is up right now. Annoying. But it'll cost you a Lotus Petal either way. Yep. Stupid Lotus Petal. But at least I found Mind Break Trap. We got some action here. One spell. Now I hope they do echo me. There's the LED. Two spells. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yes! Three spells. Bang. Okay. Narset versus Dryad Arbor. Dual decks. Chain of Smog, okay. Can even attack and still cast Endurance because I have the correct distribution of mana. This is where they draw Days Undoing and just beat me with it. We got a little Endurance in the end step. Do I want to target anyone? I think targeting myself, get Mind Break Trap back into the mix, and Zenith back into the mix seems reasonable. Ooh. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Didi. I'm going to attack Narset and my opponent. They could block with Hall Breacher, but that's okay because it's going to cost them Sappers and Scary. Okay, dismember. Fair enough. Whatever. They just leave Narset unmolested. I'm going to Endurance again. Just keep the pressure up. Pernicious Deed in play does insulate against a number of things, but I think that's better as a surprise. Pop in Narset. Found Echo. Endurance. Let's go. Ooh, Force Blue card was what was left in their hand. All right, I just need a Witherbloom Apprentice, and we win. Okay, 
I have a Wither Bloom Apprentice. Gonna attack. I could just get Oof here, though. I think I want Oof, though. Having the win is certainly exciting. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the win. Let's go. Days undoing me. Go ahead. I can even play around Flusterstorm. Or I can just cast Pernicious Deed and then win anyway. I get to see the Pernicious Deed either way, so I might as well just go for it. Get my hand empty. And let's get off the chain. Vine Break Trap saves the day again. They saw Pernicious Deed. They didn't see Oof, though they can probably assume that that's what my Enith for 2 was going for. Maybe I do need Flusterstorm against the... Or uh, a Veil of Summer against their Flusterstorms. Their Opposition Agent is the worst card left in my deck here. Or a Deadly Brew might be worse than Opposition Agent. Though it is close. Deadly Brew pitches to Endurance where Oppo Agent doesn't. Yeah, I think answering their Planeswalkers or whatever is going to be more important than stealing their search off of Urza Saga. Okay, I have all of my turn zero interaction. I'm going to keep. My hand doesn't actually do anything. Cavern Caracas, that's like barely even cast spells. One spell. Yeah, they can slow down and play around Saga if they know that they're supposed to do that. Or, uh, or on Mind Break Trap. I'm just saying random words. As usual. I think I still cavern on human, even though my deck, my hand has none of those in it. They can't just like cast Karn here. And I probably can't beat it. Another cavern. All right, this one can be on insect, but that doesn't help me. Yeah, none of that gets me up to the double color. I need. <laughs> yeah, there's three lands in the deck that don't tap for generic blue or black mana, and this is one of them. Yeah, and we're we're just. Playing one spell at a time, playing around Mind Break Trap, easily win the game when you know it's coming and you're under no pressure at all. They can just daze undoing and win the game here. Okay, they didn't have the undoing. Veteran Explorer, do you help me at all? Cavern on Elemental. Though, so, yeah, I'm going to Cavern on Elemental. Or is it Insect? I think it's Elemental. It's Cavern on Human. Finally have an uncounterable human. Behold. Another Hall Breacher. Are they playing around removal I don't have, or they don't have a draw seven? Like the ley line is shutting down echo lines, so they would have to have actual days undoing. Okay. Probably bad. Please attack. Yes. Uh they're gonna have basics to search for, but I need to get off the ground here. <laughs> Desperately. Okay. Uh I think I need green black. Yeah, because I have the Cavern on Elemental. They've cast one spell this turn. Oh, they're echoing from hand. Okay. I'm very dead here. Oh, God. And I have to choose which Hall Breacher takes my draw step. Thanks, Magic Online. Insult to injury. A Pernicious Deed might still help me here. Pernicious Deed's still actually insane here. Our set. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Days Undoing. Revealed. You're just going to keep... You can bounce my Endurance, make sure I have nothing, and then Days Undoing. That's good. I bounce my Endurance with Spell Bomb. Now we can Days Undoing, wiping out the Endurance. Leave me with nothing, no pressure for Narset. Pernicious Deed off the top, let's go. Seiju, not it. Okay, I'm dead. There's technically more game to play here. I could like Poseiju, their Urza Saga, and whatever, but they just drew 7 twice and have 6 power in play. This isn't it. Yeah, once you know about Mind Break Trap, it becomes very easy to play around it. This particular type of combo deck can play towards stability. It's not a Storm deck that has to eventually cast enough spells to get through a Mind Break Trap. It's a uh, blue-based combo, tempo, control, something, whatever you want to call this. But yeah, uh, they saw it come in. They played around it. GG's. On the draw for round four. My goodness, the mana base in this deck. I'm going to mulligan. Okay. I'm going to keep this, even though I'm not excited about it, because it does have the possibility of casting any spells, which is more than I can say about some of these hands we've seen. A Taiga and go. This is lands or the Epic Storm, but Epic Storm I don't think would lead on Taiga. Oh god, is this Belcher? What deck goes Taiga go twice? 
If I besage you this land, are they going to search for one? Do I Cabal Therapy naming? Definitely Cabal Therapy. I just got to figure out what I'm naming. I'm going to play besage you. Cabal Therapy. I got Pass Pass. I think this is a combo deck. And I could name Char Belcher. I could just name the Belcher. Because that's the one that kills me immediately. I at least have a chance against Empty the Warrens. Goblin, Char Belcher. Let's see. Uh, close. <laughs> I was right, it's a Storm deck. Yeah, I was in the wrong neighborhood, though. Got Mox Opal, Wishclaw Talisman, Ad Nauseam, Rit Rit. There's the Opal. Oh, yes. Uh, not that I really want to set their mana off, but we're doing this. I'm going to get red and green. Do I need double black for anything? I don't think so. And green. And I can decide if I want to name, or they can brainstorm in response and mess with this. I'm probably just going to name Dark Ritual. Oh, they don't have a basic island in their deck. That's lucky. Oh, they can just add Nas in response. Fuck me. Okay. Yeah, that also works. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, they're ad nauseum in response. I get to see all their cards, but if they their deck has Veil of Summer in it, they can protect themselves. <laughs> yeah, there's the Veil. Wow. Devastating. Maybe I just shouldn't have cast any spells. Okay, so they get to Veil of Summer here. Oh, they didn't Veil. Wow, 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 wow. Whoa. Okay. Suddenly, this game has some play to it. Um, I can aim Lotus Petal. Just rip their mana out from under them. And they currently have three. And naming Petal does collapse a lot of stuff here. They have Burning Wish and Wishclaw Talisman. I can besage you a Wishclaw Talisman, but that doesn't actually win me the game. Uh, if they search in response. Do I just cut the petals out? There's a Rite of Flame there. Rite of Flame and Dark Ritual. Wow. Tricky. I wasn't expecting this to resolve. I don't have a plan. I think I just want the Lotus Petals. There are three of them over there. So many cards have been revealed that I've honestly lost track of which ones are actually in their hand or not. I know there's no Lotus Petals in the hand. There's one Relay, one Burning Wish. Oh, there's two Burning Wishes? Okay. I hope that was the right call. I can... Options here include Obnixilis, but they can discard easily. That's not going to help. I think it's Sedgemore, which just keep the pressure on. Yeah, this sounds right to me. Hope that was the right call. I'm not playing the Legendary Besaju here. Underground C for turn. Brainstorm. Okay. Trying to fix this. I did deny them four mana and three storm with that ball therapy that should not have resolved. Dark ritual. Oh, they drew another dark ritual. Yeah. Not looking good. Rate of flame. Another rate of flame. <laughs> the brainstorm draws to have found dark ritual and rate of flame. Okay. Storm is still only five. If we have a past in flames, I'm dead. But the Epic Storm doesn't play Pass in Flames. Wishclaw. Seven. Yeah, if Wishclaw just... Okay. Uh, yeah, they can just Burning Wish for Tendrils here. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. That was a good Brainstorm. Found two additional Rituals. Giving them the Ad Nauseam was a, <laughs> probably a mistake. I guess just misreading the, the Taiga. I even said this is... Either lands or the epic storm, and then I named a Char Belcher card, but missing your second land drop is a weird thing to do in the epic storm. I don't know. That game, the difference in that game was uh, hitting on a blind therapy or not, which is a skill tester in decks like this. I want Mind Break Trap and Veil of Summer and Collector Oof. Probably some number of Pernicious Deed. We're playing against our third Mind Break Trap matchup of the league. Can't make this stuff up. Uh, Grist and Omnixilis are terrible. Opposition Agent is nutty. My Having my own combo kill is important. Deadly Brew is not going to do anything. And Elder Gargaroth. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Someday. Maybe. Maybe Eternal Witness is better than Vivian, just because this thing costs five. I think I should bring in the other deed over. 
Vivian as well. This, this five mana spell is not going to be part of the matchup. Not that I think that Deed is a huge deal. Like it can mop up, empty the Warren's tokens if they go off on low resources, or maybe clean up some artifact mana that's sitting in play. But it's not sexy. Right, I can keep this and Cabal Therapy Dark Ritual. Or I could Cabal Therapy Brainstorm. I think I just want to slow them down. Cabal Therapy Lion's Eye Diamond is pretty powerful. I don't know. <laughs> Shouting out the names of random cards until I pick one. I'm going to name Dark Ritual. Just going to try to slow this game down. Lion's Eye Diamond. Uh, I would have got there on that one. Okay. Noted. Tropical Island. Lotus Petal. LED. My god. Dead. And I'm not dead, but they get to echo here. That's really annoying. <laughs> Should have named Lion's Eye Diamond, folks. Oh, I'm actually getting ad nauseumed. Yeah, I'm just fucking dead. Cool. Well, the ad nauseum has to go off without a land drop here. And if that happens, I can wish for Mind Break Trap on my turn. Dark Ritual, Lotus Petal in the mix. Currently only three mana from Mox Helps. Burning Wish. Lion's Eye Diamond. It's probably bad. Another Veil of Summer. Maybe just stop. Okay. Just stop. LED. And I'm F6 to go nuts. Chrome Mox. Yeah, so Dark Ritual Rite of Flame is five mana. That casts Wish Claw Talisman and activates in response. You can LED. Yeah, there's plenty of mana to win the game here. Jeez. Should have named Lion's Eye Diamond. Another match brought to you by missing on a blind therapy. That really is life and death with these decks. If you choose wrong, you lose. And me without my mind break trap. Another fun two turn match behind us. Let's go to the last round. I'm on the play for the final round. Looks like we're taking another mulligan. Oh, this is so close to being a, a real hand. I'm going to keep it. Put Dried Arbor on the bottom. When it's on a mold of five, they're probably a combo deck, but I can't just cast Therapy in the blind like this. If I did... Oh, God. The blind Therapy on Lion's Eye Diamond. Always the right call, it turns out. <laughs> oh, no, they had two! And me without a green card for my Endurance. Do you have the Breakthrough also? How bad is it going to get? Lion's Eye Diamond. All right. And... Oh, my God. God! Well, folks, that's the end of my career. Thank you all for watching my channel. It's been fun providing content for you all these years. But this is it. I'm done. Did I just blind named Cabal... Er, blind Side Diamond. As soon as the opponent mulls to five, just Cabal Therapy LED. Never lose. Okay, uh, there is... Let's look at this graveyard real quick. There are Bridge from Below's. There's a Hogak. Is there a Cabal Therapy? I'll concede if there's a Cabal Therapy in this graveyard. Not appear to be. Am I just missing it, or is it really not there? Uh, is there a Dread Return? It looks like they somehow just missed. Okay, I have one opportunity here. One chance. M&M style to draw a green card. Draw a green card. Okay. I am going to Endurance my opponent. And I'm going to stack it so the Endurance dies before their Graveyard goes away. That way they lose all their Bridge from Below's. And then they lose everything else. And then I just have to race some Narc Amoebas. Okay. <laughs> Here we are, back in the Weirdo Zone. Your Mana Confluence for turn. Sedgemore Witch. If anyone can race an opponent. The Monastery Mentor Light. Oh, JK, they drew Breakthrough. Just have nothing. Just hellbent. No resources. And then suddenly, one turn later, best spell in your deck and the mana to cast it. I'm just casting Cabal Therapy. I'm going to name you already dead in a game that I'm going to lose for maximum rub-ins. Uh, there is an Icarid and a Golgari Thug in the graveyard. So they found one Dredger. If the dredged thug doesn't find another dredger, they can Cabal Therapy themselves, losing a Narc Amoeba to get the dred thug back in, which I think they are going to have to do here. All right, not interested. I'm going to fetch Dryad Arbor. 
Just add to my clock. Uh, and I think I should flashback therapy, sacking my pest to gain a life, because the pest replaces itself. I'm not going to name the thug because I don't want it in their graveyard. Icarid can eat Icarid right now. Yeah, this also gives me an untapped pest. Sack pest, make a new pest. This time I'm going to name Abandon Hope. We're just going through all of the absolute Cabal Therapy bangers here. Nice. <laughs> we got to name You Are Already Dead and Abandon Hope in the same match. I'm excited about it. If Icarid eats Icarid, I will trade Pest Token off with it. I can't really afford to take three here. And they don't have any other plays to make. I think they needed to therapy themselves last turn, get their thug in the graveyard. So if they, the way this game has gone so far, they're probably just going to draw another breakthrough, therapy themselves now, and then breakthrough with thug in the graveyard. Okay, that didn't happen. For their bloom apprentice. All right. Attack for five. Switch it to DOB. And here we are. The Icarid has finally jumped into play. Please don't draw a breakthrough right now. Or a Cabal, or a Faithless Looting, or any of the shit. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five. Are we starting to leave back blockers here? What's the game plan? I'm not blocking Icarid. If you beat me with a Creeping Chill at this point, you deserve it. Yeah, they could sack the Icarid, because that's dying anyway. Get their thug into the graveyard. Therapy, targeting themselves, they figured it out. Please don't have additional spells to cast. Alright, another therapy, two thugs. Come on, deck. How about some relevant spell? That would be great. Yeah! <laughs> we did it, Jeffrey. You are already dead. Hooray! Okay, our dredge opponent dredged 33 cards on the first turn of the game, and we had no interaction for it, and then we won. And we got some stylish Cabal Therapies along the way. Let's bring in all this hate. <laughs> we Mind Break Trap's a little awkward, but it's not the worst thing against the Turbo LED version of Dredge. Collector Oof turns off Lion's Eye Diamond, but I don't think that's where I want to be. Veil of Summer turns off Cabal Therapy. Uh, once again... Uh, so we played against Lion's Eye Diamond four times in this matchup. Just just to verify it, let, let's let's confirm the count. It's four times, right? Because that's what I got. Okay, this deck does not really search its deck. Uh, the the big creatures aren't a huge deal. I mean, Gargaroth and Obnixil is actively terrible. My opponents love discarding cards. Yeah, uh, Grist can pick off a Hogak. Deadly Brew can kill one of my creatures to clear bridges. There is some argument to Elder Gargaroth, because if you can clear the bridges, this becomes a scrappy, like, Narc Amoeba, Icarid beatdown game, and that game is not beating Elder Gargaroth. Probably not beating 3-4 Endurance, either. Pernicious Deed can clean up zombie tokens and kill my own creatures. Yeah, maybe Deed is better than... Mind Break Trap. Having some number of them on the draw, but is this a, a deck where you have less than all of them in ever? Eternal Witness can become a deed as well. I need all my infinite combos. I like Deadly Brew. Maybe Deadly Brew is worse than Mind Break Trap on the draw. I have Cabal Therapy. I'm good at killing my own creatures. And Endurance kills itself too. Alright, fine. Deadly Brews are all pernicious deeds. <laughs> Well, we got really good at this sideboard pattern. Four Lion's Eye Diamond decks. Okay, uh, I have the Endurance. I don't have a Ley Line. I'm going to keep. I have a pretty quick combo here. I can... Like, if they Cabal Therapy me, naming Endurance, if they take time, the time to do that, I can Zenith for Arbor. I guess I don't have any black, so we're on a bit of a mission there. Okay, uh, Zenith. Zenith is also my... Uh, but I can hard cast Endurance next turn, yeah. I'm going to Zenith for Arbor. If I get to ca start casting Endurances, things get a lot more interesting. And I still have a green card I can pitch. It gives up on my combo, but... If I successfully Endurance my opponent, I'm not upset about that. Arrakis. That lane is bad. Right, I'm just going to pass the turn here. All I can do. I can besage you the Cephalid Coliseum or the Lion's Eye Diamond and, and force some action. 
I don't expect this deck to actually have any mana sources in it. I'm going to hit the Colosseum. If you want to play Scared of Endurance, I'm just going to pick you apart in other ways. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I could Cavern on Human and get one Black Source away from Victory. Or I could Cavern... Yeah, I'm going to Cavern on Human. Unfortunately, this Human is also my only green card for Endurance, so I can't cast it yet. Oh, Faithless Looting. Bridge Thug. Sure. Don't need to act yet. If I draw the Black Source, I can just try to win. That's interesting. Okay. Now I can Wooded Foothills, play Witherbloom Apprentice, and I'm holding up Endurance here anyway, and then I can win next turn. I think that's better than trying to go for a win and just play into some sideboard Flusterstorm or some bullshit. The Thug Dredge didn't really find anything, found another Thug. Starting to hard cast Thugs. Flashing back looting. Okay, first draw is going to dredge Thug. Then we'll see if we find another. Found Narcomoeba, but no additional dredger. There is not a therapy in this graveyard. I'm going to let them have the Narcomoeba. Another LED. All right. Okay, they're all in here. I can let this one resolve also. We get to dredge two, discard two. I can respond to any triggers. The Narcomoeba trigger actually just saved me from getting Ox of Agonist. Now, for playing against four Lion's Eye Diamond decks with my non blue deck in a league, we are going to beat two of them. Their graveyard's gone, and I have the one in my hand. I have no cards. Deal. This is Pod Racing. Arrakis. Veteran Explorer. And Chain of Smog. Let's do it. Let's see if they're going to assault. Make me click through it again. Nope. Okay. Cool. Okay, we split the difference against the four Lion's Eye Diamond decks we played against. It was a good league for Mind Break Trap. My god. Lost to a really cool four-color no-white deck. The, the red removal actually just picked me apart out of that deck. A misclick was involved, uh, miscounting my mana. But still, that deck really picked me apart in the two games that it won. Didn't play against Delver. Didn't play against 8-cast. So the two targets of the deck, we could safely say this build didn't lose to them. Obnixilis sucked. Like I, I get that we played against four LED decks, which is not really where you want Obnixilis, the adversary, but this card just barely impacts the board. And unless you're already ahead and the opponent's low on life and they're low on resources, it just doesn't really do anything. Yeah, this card is not worth two deck slots if it's worth any at all. It's cool that you can casualty sacking your veteran explorer, but that never came up. You usually need to pop the Veteran Explorer to even have red mana because there's only one mountain in the deck. The mana in this list felt like a complete fucking disaster. Like not being able to fetch. There's not like a Badlands or Taiga in the deck that you can set up red mana for. And I think if we lose Obnix list, then we get to lose the mountain and the mana is just better. We're just green black. And then we can focus on a fourth Jaina Smug, fourth Wither Bloom Apprentice. I think that would just improve the deck dramatically. I feel like I want some sort of card draw or card selection engine in here somewhere. Castle Lockthwain came up a couple times, but like Marin got boarded out every round. It, I'm a tough sell in general on a four mana spell that doesn't win the game and requires investment to really go off and gets bounced by Caracas. I'm sus of Marin. Elder God Groth I love in theory. It didn't come up. We didn't play the matchups it's for, but I, I'd almost rather have more Elder Gargroths than the first Marin. Four Endurance did work the whole time. I love Four Endurance in a deck. That's a good place to start. Yeah, I would just want to focus on the combo here. Get rid of the, the red mana. Obnixilis is bad. Maybe we get more Grist in here or some other Planeswalkers. Uh, just, or some more removal. Uh, maybe some Assassin's Trophies or, or just something. Like, literally anything uh, other than this, this Planeswalker that we're splashing an entire color for. We don't even have Pyroblast in the sideboard. We're, we've added an entire color to the deck. Just for this Planeswalker that's not even good. Get rid of that. Clean this up a little bit. Everything else kind of did its job. Didn't get to cast Deadly Brew, but we played against four Lion's Eye Diamonds decks. That's not really where you want an Edict effect most of the time. But the combo gave us a, an Eject Button, Opposition Agent, and Endurance were like the right amount of pressure at three mana. And the sideboard did a ton of work. We brought in 12 cards in four of the matchups. Maybe more in some of them, just 
Good job, sideboard. I'm going to leave this here. Don't add questionable cards to your decks, especially if they require an entire extra color. That's just not good deck building. Play to your win condition, which is Witherbloom Command here. I like the fourth Witherbloom, the fourth chain. And Marin's too cute. Just jam another Gargaroth in there. Shove Gargaroth down people's throats until they get it. That's where I'm going to leave this. Derek, thank you for asking me to play Nickfit. Always happy to revisit it on the channel once in a while. If you like this sort of thing, check out my opposition agent, Marin of the Mornsong, Nickfit Lock Deck. Check out my three different versions of Teferi Vacation Nickfit. I have Professor Onyx Chain of Smog Nickfit on the channel. I have all sorts of Nickfit out here doing all sorts of crazy shit at the top end. And this deck is fun. Glad I got to revisit it once again. Everyone, thanks for watching. Check out the links for merch and Patreon and join and subscribe and comment all the stuff under the video. Do it. And I'll see you next time.